Hi again from the garden. It's Christina from Sunshine Flora. If you're new to my channel, I grow cut flowers in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa. And today I am out here in the garden trying to get as many of my annual seedlings planted as I can, um, the ones I have left. I have done a whole lot of planting already this year and I haven't been very good at making videos for it. I apologize. I have just been so incredibly busy with the new infrastructure of the garden and I will be doing a full garden tour video very, very soon. Um, but today I just wanted to turn the camera on and kind of document everything that I'm going to be planting. So I have numerous varieties that I still need to plant. So let me just give you a quick look at all the seed trays that need to go in the ground and then show you a few of the spots that I'm going to be working on today. Also, we ended up getting over a half an inch of rain last night, which was really, really needed. And so everything in the garden um, should be looking really nice and green this morning. So this is one of the beds I definitely needed to get planted today. This is my celosia bed. Here I have most of a tray of celosia to plant. Um, this celosia really, really needs to get out of its seed tray. You can see the roots are really developed. Some of them are starting to throw a bloom already, so I just need to pinch the tops off of those. Um, but these need to get in today. Uh, most of this bed will be celosia. I do have some closer burned holes right over here last year. I direct sowed some cress in this corner. So depending on how many celosia um, plants I have to fill this bed up because I have a few more in another tray, we'll see if that works again this year. But this is something that's definitely getting planted today. And then let me show you all of the other seed trays that still need to go in the garden. Well, first of all, this tray was a full Rebecca tray that have all been planted out, but there's a few plants left in the tray that I was just going to plug in in random places. And then this is a tray of Bells of Ireland that I just got from Farmer Bailey. So this entire tray needs to be planted. I also think it needs to be fertilized because it's looking a little yellow versus green. And then over here, I have, oh, maybe 10 plants of Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus. These are going in a certain bed that's out by the hoop house to make sort of a natural fence for this year. And then I have these few hollyhocks that are going to be plugged into a brand new perennial cottage garden area. Then this is the area where all of my other seedlings that need to be planted are living. So first of all, I bought five perennial Shasta daisies to plug into the new cottage garden area. That will be a whole separate video. So these need to go in the garden once that area is shaped. This tray is some status, celosia, and just a few more rebecca that need to be planted. So this celosia will go in the bed where the celosia is going today. Not quite sure where that extra status is going yet. I have a few more honeywort to get in the garden. These are looking really good. This tray is some mountain mint. That needs to get in the garden. Then I have some more feverfew. These are small plants that weren't ready to plant out last time. So I'm gonna plug these in some random places. Here is another tray of status. These plants were all too small when I originally planted the others out. They're all looking real good now. So these need a home. This poor tray, this is really overdue. This is poor man's orchid that obviously is flowering. I think I need to pinch it and then just plug it in somewhere and see if it works. I don't know, we'll try it. I've never grown it before, um, but I think I should plug it in somewhere. And then on the other side of the tray is more honeywort. I have a few random cosmos that are left. I don't know if they're worth plugging in or not, or if I should just direct seed some more. This tray has my bunny tail grasses that need to go somewhere, a few more random marigolds, and this little strip is uh, chamomile. So that needs to go in a planter somewhere. And then that is my craspedia, definitely needs to get planted, and a few bells of Ireland. And then over in that tray is a little bit of Dusty Miller, which I might just grow in the greenhouse, and some ageratum, which needs to go in one of my four by four beds. And this is a beautiful tray of amaranth that has a specific spot in the garden as well. Also, I have some yarrow that is starting to bloom. I am so excited to use that with my peonies next week at the farmer's market. 
And then if we walk into the greenhouse, quite a bit of this is just random annuals that will go into planters in the garden. Um, like this is going in some hanging baskets on the pergola. But I do have um, some dahlia tubers. These are ones that I started up inside this winter. These need to go in the ground. I have these that need to go in the ground. And then check these out. These are so big. These need to go in the ground. I'm thinking these are going to go in the hoop house um, where the ranunculus are getting removed from. Here are my geraniums that I started from seed. These are going to go in pots as well. And then over here, um, this is lavender that's going to go in the brand new cottage garden area. And then these are some small Rubecchia seedlings that were too small to go in the garden a few weeks ago. So I potted them up and they're putting on some really nice growth. So these are going to get planted out in my current cottage garden area. So I'm really excited to have those. Rebecca are perennials in my area. Let me show you the ones from last year. Look at these right outside the greenhouse. These are from last year. Oh my gosh, they are so big already. And they are starting to flower already. So those are all of the seedlings that I have yet to plant. I have planted a ton in the garden. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a full garden tour video very, very soon. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get started and see how much I can get planted today. So I'm going to set the camera up and just show you guys what I'm doing as I go. I'm probably going to start with this celosia bed. And then I will probably move out into the um, parking lot area where I have all my new infrastructure. I have some four by four raised beds that I need to actually put some soil into. And then um, I think Ageratum's going out there. I'm going to have to look at my list inside, but I think maybe I'll just go ahead and start with those. Now that I'm thinking out loud, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with those beds out there because that gets hotter. This stays in the shade longer then I'll do the celosia. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to set the camera up and then I will show you guys everything as I go. So I got these two beds done. This bed is half Ageratum on this side and then half bunny tails on that side. And it ended up equaling out perfect. I don't know how I planned that. And then this bed, I ended up filling with honeywort, which will be one of my fillers. So I'm really excited to have all of that in. So now I'm going to move on to my celosia. Okay, you guys, I got everything planted for today. I think it's starting to get real hot out here. We're actually getting some clouds right now, which is a really um, pleasing relief. It's supposed to get into the 90s today. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is stop planting for right now and maybe um, just kind of sort my seedlings and do a little more planting and then maybe come back later. But I wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video and I want to give you a tour of everything that I got planted because I got a lot done this morning. Okay, so here again on the outside of the garden, I got these two front beds done. This is Ageratum and Bunny Tails and this one is Honeywort. So now I have all eight of my beds done. And if we swing this way, this is that in-ground planting area and then of course my hoop house. So this this area is really starting to take shape. 
And then on the inside garden, I got my whole bed of celosia in. It starts here with the Selway mix, which is a bunch of different colors of the Selway celosia, which is my favorite. Then down here, I have a few plants of the flamingo feather. That is what these green ones are. And then over here, these, um, that set of 12, those are the pompous plume mix. I also ended up planting this whiskey barrel with some of the extra Rebecca had. I thought that would be really pretty. Here's my winter sewing, which I clearly need to open. You can see some leaves peeking through. That might be a video coming up, but I am really excited to have this extra little space with these Rebecca. And then if we walk over this way, my Bupleurum are over here. So this is one bed of Bupleurum that I planted today. These are quite a bit closer together than my other bed. I think these are four inches apart. This is a spot where I had some Lysianthus last year. My Lysianthus are in the hoop house this year, so I just wanted to utilize this spot, and I had extra Bupleurum, so I thought, why not fill it up? And you can see here's my incredible hydrangeas looking amazing, and my raspberry patch looking amazing also. Here's my other Bupleurum patch. You can tell these are spaced much further apart. This is where I had the Bupleurum last year, and it did awesome. I will be netting this also. That is on the list for next week. The other thing I got planted today, which is not cut flower related, is I put my Blushing Susie vine at the bottom of these trellises. They were starting to get all tangled together, so it was definitely time. And then this is my bed of status, which are looking amazing. I have some feverfew over there. And then I moved this handmade trellis over here. I think I'm going to put some more Blushing Susie vine on that and maybe one miniature pumpkin on this side to trail this way. Um, this bed, which clearly needs to be weeded here, um, the front of it, this is all Rubecchia. And then at the end of it are some direct sown zinnias and a big hollyhock on the end just for fun. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing what I was planting today out in the garden. I am nearing the end of planting. Besides these few seed trays that I have left, I just have all my dahlias to plant and uh, everything else will be in the ground except if I do maybe some direct seed succession planting. But everything will be in the ground and that is a really good feeling. So anyway, um, stay tuned for a lot more. I'm probably going to be doing a full garden tour very soon, so watch for that. We'll see you soon.